What's up guys on YouTube and welcome to the review of the 2017 E300. So before I start, this is the uh, four-cylinder inline four engine, inline four engine, um, producing 241 horsepower and 372 pound-feet of torque. What is too little in this car, I would say, I'm a little bit disappointed because they used to have the 350 in this car and they used it in all kinds of engine. You used to have a C350, a ML350, and it was the V6 with the 3.5 liter. Now they went more smaller and have the four cylinder uh, engine. What is not a bad engine in the C class, but for this car, I think it's way too heavy. They have the option for the C300, C43, and then C63, C63S in the United States. And I'm a big fan of the 43s in this car because it will have over 400 horsepower and it's gonna really match the true meaning of this car. But on this model it has the luxury package, luxury front grille, it also has the 18 inch 5 spoke wheels that come with the luxury package and premium 3 package, what is the biggest package you can get in the E-Class. It costs you 11,000 bucks in the United States, but you will have any option on this car. It will come with massage seats, with all the automatic driving functions that I will show you later in the car. And overall, the engine sounds different in this car than on a C-Class. It sounds more aggressive, but it's still... For, for, you know, for a highway car, it's perfectly fine. But if you're gonna rip it around some back roads, way too slow, way too slow for this car. So I'm gonna jump around the car, show you some of the stuff it has, and then later jump in the interior and explain all the options it also, has. Also, if you get this one with the luxury package, you have the grill that really looks like a mini S-Class. And you can also tell it has the premium three package with the active lane assist and automatic driving function because of the sensors in the front of the car. So the grill and the star really make it look like a mini S-Class, what I like a lot in my opinion. Okay, so we're on the back of the E-Class right now and as you can see, it uses the new key, what I like so much better than the older keys because what happened is Mercedes used the key for the past 15 years and never really changed the design and on the new E-Class they have the new key that feels way more expensive and also looks cooler. I wish they would finally get the key on all the new models, the 2017 models. But on the back of the E-Class it also has the electronic trunk option of course. You can lock and unlock the, the trunk via the key, open it via the key with no problem whatsoever. You can close it via the key as well or you use your foot like I showed on the C43 before that you either slide or you either kick underneath the car. So it's the same kind of option like on the uh, C43 I showed you. You can get the package almost on any car but on the premium 3 package it's obviously standard. And next up the trunk space in this car. I would honestly say it's more space than you have on the C-Class even though it's not something you can fit everything in it. Overall you can also do the back seats, you can fold them down and have more luggage space if you don't take five people in the car with you. And uh, luggage overall, I'll blend in a picture of luggage is not a big problem in the E-Class. You have the lock and trunk, the lock button and the trunk closing button on the car. Same option than on the C-Class and I would like to show you guys the interior because that's where it really comes into handy. So let's jump inside. Okay guys, we're sitting inside the 2017 C-Class, uh, e damn I almost said C-Class, E-Class right now. And the first thing you can tell is the big screen right there. It really looks so similar to the S-Class. This one doesn't have the digital display right here in the middle on the dashboard. It is an option, so if you get this option, the car will really look like an S-Class. Next up, you can tell by the big screen, everything is just brand new. It's like refreshed. The whole menu options you have automatic parking function as well and the 360 camera you see all the angles of the car a 360 view on the car when you park it what is really nice and they made it look so huge on the screen that it looks really like a, I don't know a 1080p camera right here it looks amazing like just look at that view it looks beautiful so this is really impressive to me also the premium 3 package will include um, all the options on the side right here 
what you can drive by yourself. You have a Distronic Plus function where it keeps the distance of the car driving ahead of you. Also automatic lane function that will show you when you get over, blind spot assist will get you back in its lane. Also this one has the head-up display right here. You can tell how fast you're going, miles per hour, everything like that. Really, really nice. Next up on the screen, what I wanted to show you guys is the setting future. You have uh, climate control in this model, you also have the uh, um, air freshener, so you can do all kinds of different uh, perfumes in there, colognes, you know, you can put whatever you want, strawberry, I don't know what they all have in there. You can activate it on medium, low and high or can completely turn it off, really nice. Then you have dynamic select, what looks different on this car as well. You have the vehicle data that kind of looks the same, but of course they made it as a bigger screen. Same on the C-Class with the multimedia package and then the engine data looks really different. You have all those overviews that are in a different color and it looks, it looks really nice. Also, you have all the assistance in here that I said earlier, traffic sign assist, so it reads out the sign, the speed limit sign, adjust your speed to it. If you have it on, a parking pilot can park the car by itself. Active brake assist, so when a car is in front of you, it applies the brakes for you. Blind spot assist, obviously. Attention assist, lane keep assist, so I think this is actually when you get out of the lane, it will get yourself back in that lane. And functions are amazing in this car. Like it's fully loaded if you talk about the, the package. Like it has everything. Also light setting. So for a lot of people, this is something amazing because usually you had the option between three colors and you know, on the S-Class you had a couple of more options. On the E-Class you have 64 or 63 colors now. It's insane. Like you can do like rainbows. Honestly, you can do anything you want. And the amazing part is it will still look really bright on daylight if you do that really bright blue on the car it looks bright even on daylight you can tell it going across the car even it's sunny outside uh, at night it looks stunning you can select the entire vehicle and select the brightness or you can do front and rear by yourself also um, you got all the settings of course belt adjustment like on the all the new cars but they made it look really nice so the graphics are really really nice and then probably a really nice feature to have everyone wants is the massage seat option you can select the driver seat and the passenger seat so i'm on the driver seat right now i go to massage and i select select for example hot relaxing back shoulder activating massage classic massage wave massage mobilizing massage workout bag I mean anything you want so I'm gonna do it on um, activating massage and you can already tell um, I mean it feels amazing the seats feel so comfortable on longer trips amazing I'm gonna do the passenger seat as well same options for the passenger seat you can do massage option right here let's do the hot relaxing bag you can feel it oh, yeah. there we go and yeah dynamic seat so you can adjust the settings of your seat uh, lumbar so you can see how much it pushes you out of the seat like your lumbar on the back if i push this out you can feel it coming out she should feel it because it's on the passenger seat side balls does i mean there's so many options you have on the massage seat it's it's amazing like i could drive down to the beach and <laughs> no problem i feel like i'm sitting at home on the couch even better it's even more comfortable um, next up you can select the settings on the side right here you have the cool seats heated seats and then you can select the passenger seat settings so i can do the passenger seat adjust the one the back with my option amazing future to have works perfectly fine you got the burmester sound system they have another burmester and this one that comes out on the sides and will twist and adjust to your ear settings this one just has the burmester still sounds beautiful and uh, we have the uh, we got the uh, macchiano beige uh, walnut uh, seats i'm sorry i can't pronounce that but it's a nice color in the car and it matches the white from the outside and then also you have different air vents look so unique you can adjust it with the side instead of on the c-class on top of them they look really uh, high class and really expensive the overall the car just feels so so amazing you can also even see the small things like the microphone on each side like it feels like home in this car 
So dynamic select on this car, like I mentioned, it's the 300, nothing huge, but dynamic select still makes the car feel nice. You have comfort, of course, sport, sport plus, individual and eco mode. And uh, yeah, what I didn't mention, of course, everyone is freaking out about, you have an option for a touch up here with your fingers. So I can select everything on the screen with my finger right here, go down, Press OK, can even control the GPS, zoom out, go to different kinds of setting, destination, everything with just a touch. Amazing thing, makes the car feel even more expensive. The E-Class, honestly, you know, this video should be called is an E-Class better than an S-Class? Because this is buying a mini S-Class for less money and it feels stunning. It's, it's beautiful, everything about it. I mean, I feel like I'm sitting in a $100,000 car right here. It's amazing. And this is listed as 70,000 bucks. It's crazy, even with the premium three package. I mean, you have everything. And in my opinion, you don't, you don't need all these automatic driving functions what are nice of course it's it's amazing on the highway but you don't need it so you, you can get this car with way less stuff and uh, it's you can get it below 60 or 62 65 and you have a loaded uh, beautiful car daily driver so we're gonna take it for for a spin right now of course seat belts safety first and um, of course what you do any models automatic parking uh, function in there automatic parking brake so you select drive you either let go or you can just manually do it right here the parking brake doesn't matter which way also you have parktronic of course when you get too close to something the car will beep 360 camera and so now you can see when the car takes off or how you do the wheel setting and you can still get an overview right now if you drive below 10 miles per hour and see the whole parking lot and all the futures like look at this this is more than amazing like you can see everything in high quality so we are in sport mode right now and uh, i can already tell throttle is different i see the head-up display clear you see the miles per hour everything on it you have the option for the shift pedals of course um, I'm just gonna do a little acceleration, first gear. It's not bad for a 300. The ride feels incredibly smooth while I get a massage right now, of course. <laughs> like this massage is freaking me out, this is amazing. Yeah, throttle is good. And you know, the 300 is not, not there to make you go fast or go insane. Sound is even better on the 300s in my opinion. They made the sound kind of change on this car. And then comfort mode, everything. I mean, steering, car feels so smooth riding. It feels like I'm on clouds. Like on the highway, for example, bumps on the road, no big deal at all anymore. Like you don't, you don't feel anything. The car just rides amazingly like so nice um, one thing that I wanted to mention is the uh, cool seats that you can clearly hear when you drive once you go a certain speed when you stop they will shut off but once you drive you can hear them going what is okay but it's something that is of course um, on a luxury car that you can clearly hear them is one thing next thing the the display also the whole thing is still I would say it's kind of laggy and slow it works perfectly fine but it is still kind of buggy i would say i'm sure they will improve it with software updates later in the future but right now everything like when i want to change um settings are fine but if i want to zoom out or in there's a really delay on it as you can see zooming in it's so much smoother on the c-class with the smaller display but it's something brand new i understand it still takes a little bit time to get used to it overall this car writes incredible like there's nothing i can say wrong about it this is a car I would buy for a family car you have enough space with the back seats the front front seats have plenty of space i can go back more i can adjust the passenger seats um, i could chauffeur people in it i could pick up people and adjust their seat for them it's nice if i would want to pick up my grandma and she can't figure out how to do the seat i can adjust it for her everything is really stunning I mean, I'm, I'm speechless how amazing this E-Class is. I would choose this E-Class for the price over an S-Class. No, no kidding right here. And this one as the E43 instantly. I would buy it right now. It's, it's, this one with the 43 is going to be an amazing car. It's a luxury SUV with a big engine in it. That's all you need. 
Here you go again, reverse 360 camera. Perfect, perfect. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the 2017 E-Class. Make sure to stay tuned for more. And make sure to check out Unrecognized right here on my description down below. And I will see you guys in the next review. I really hope I could cover some of the new features it has and also how amazing it rides. I'm really impressed how they changed overall the design and the interior. The interior is like the biggest part about the car that I love the most. So make sure to check it out and uh, stay tuned.